Dirty money, all I know is dirty money. Millionaire. Some Stan Smiths. Uniqlo cause. Ralph Lauren Polo Jeans Co. Ralph Lauren, Mike Coppice, not too sure. Patagonia shorts, gray, black. Vintage Nike, got the Nike side spell out so far. Vintage Tommy jeans, this thing is crazy, all embroidered. Designer helmet Lang. I don't know if you guys can see it's all embossed on the side. So fire. Robin's jeans. These are actually a size 32. Super nice. Second pair of Robin's jeans and again size 32. With the bedazzles all on the back. Well guys, we are leaving Buffalo Exchange with a bunch of stuff. Now we're gonna have one more Goodwill. Let's see what we get. So I just got home, started editing the vlog, and realized I didn't even record the outro or the intro. So I guess that's why I just jumped right into it, but I figured, hey, who really needs an intro? You guys already know what's the deal, what's going on, so let's get it. So today we found a few nice items. We'll start it off with the jeans. We have these a pair of authentic Robin jeans. And if you guys aren't familiar with Robin jeans, they retail for a lot of money. Hundreds and hundreds. I believe they even go to the thousands, depending on what style. Robin jeans are known for very loud denim. You know, they do a bunch of glitter. They do a bunch of bedazzle. They do a bunch of designs. And to be honest, I've never actually found Robin jeans in my size. I've only found them in size like 38, 40. But we did find two in my size and I had to pick them up. Now, these are very simple for Robin jeans. Now the front is just like this light blue wash. No rips, no paint splats, no glitter, nothing. And on all the Robin jeans, we do have the Robin gold wings. On each one, it does say Robin jeans made in USA. So that's like a nice little gold touch. Then what's really fire is the back of these. So in the back, you see on the right side, we have this 1971 patch. We have this 1972 US tour patch, and then this patch, which I'm not familiar with. Then we have these little brass studs going throughout, as well as some jeweled ones. YKK zipper, which is not a pocket, it's just for decoration or for looks. You can leave it unzipped or zipped. It has no purpose, but this is an actual pocket right here. It's just the zipper isn't in a pocket. We have a Born to be Wild with the American flag patch and then the Robin's jeans patch right there. Again, you have the brass hits with the bejeweled in the flag and all throughout. Again, the zipper does not work. We have this big metal plate that says Robin jeans made in USA. Have the little Robin tag right there. All the inside tags. Robin jeans, size 32. From the front, they don't look anything special at all, but like I said, from the back is what really pops. Now, I planned on keeping these, but you guys know the motto, everything is for sale, so I will put these up for sale. Um, they won't be cheap. They'll probably be about around $100. Uh, if someone wants to cop them for $100, then, you know, they're yours. If not, then I'm just going to hold on to the personal collection just because I don't have any nice denim like this. Then getting into the second pair of Robin jeans, again size 32. These were the only 32s in the store. All the other ones were size 38, 40, and 42, which extremely way too big for me. So I grabbed the only 32s. So again, the light wash, it almost seems very similar. This one's a little bit more blue than the other one. The other one was a little bit more yellow faded. Again, comes with the gold wings. And then on the back, all Swarovski crystals, or at least I believe they're Swarovski. I'm not too sure. I looked it up and it said Swarovski crystals, but if you guys can see, these things shine like crazy. And you're probably wondering, Emilio, why would you ever wear that? Like, that's very girly. And well, some people like to stunt. So we have this oversized flap that has a little pull tab, and then obviously that's the pocket, with the crystals going all around with brass accents. On both, we have the little Robin jeans patch. Then again, the inside tags, size 32. 
This style is called the long flap. And again, I cop this for personal. Um, if someone wants to cop, it'll be on the website about $100 or so uh, for both of these. So if you want it and you want a pair of Robin jeans size 32, then go cop them. If not, then hey, your boy's gonna be rocking some Robin jeans. So moving on, we only found one t-shirt today. It is a size large. We have this NWA single-sided. It says, the world's dangerous group. Then we have Ice Cube, MC Ren, Easy e Yella and Dr. Dre. Then underneath it says straight out of Compton. And it does have like that faded wash look like if it's vintage. I'm not sure if this is a vintage. I tried to look for a time date and I do not see a timestamp. The tag does say made in India, so I have no idea. But either way, it is a fire t-shirt regardless. I just wish it was double-sided and made in USA. Next, we have a vintage gray tag, Nike made in USA, size large windbreaker. Now this colorway is like an aqua teal with like a cobalt blue. We have the Nike logo right there in the left chest. Then on the left arm with the color contrasting from teal to blue to white, we have a Nike spell out in all white letters. Moving on to the back, we do have a white accent on the collar. Now you can zip this about a fourth way and have it tucked like that so that way you don't see the white collar and then it's almost like a coach jacket or you can have it zipped up all the way. On the back, it's nothing but solid blue. I tried this on and honestly this thing is super fire. I guarantee this will be one of the first pieces that sells. It's really rare that we find vintage Nike windbreakers this fire and then on the little pull tab we do have the little Nike. And I forgot to say, both sides do come with zipper pockets, white zipper pockets, so that way you can keep all your goods secured. This jacket, I was planning on leaving it, and then I tried it on and I was like, yo, this thing is so fire, I need to cop this. This is gonna be the same with the Robin jeans. I'm gonna put it on the website. If it doesn't sell, then A, I'm just gonna keep it, rock it a few times, and then if it eventually sells, it eventually sells. But we have like this vintage style bomber, and it doesn't have a brand, well it does have a brand, but I don't know that brand. If you guys know it, maybe you could tell me. I think it's just like an off brand. It's 100% polyester, size large, and it has like these gold and green and red, like with king, with like with the crown, and it's just very royalty, almost like Chanel or Versace-esque, in my opinion. And like I said here, I'm just gonna throw this on, because honestly this thing is just so insane. I was wearing it around the store as I was thrifting, and they're like, yo, you must love that jacket. I was like, yo, this thing's so hard. Like, I don't know why this is sitting in stores. I think this was actually in the women's section too, but it is a men's large. If I can get my arm through this hole, oh my God. All right, look how hard this is, yo. Like, from far away, you would walk up and be like, yo, is that like Versace? Is that, is that, is that designer? Cause this is so hard. Obviously it's that bomber style fit. Oh, shout out to Tommy. We rocking that Tommy Hill figure. But as you see, it's like that bomber fit. So it's that nice tapered. You probably don't want to zip it up all the way. Maybe just like a little half zip so it can have a little nice little fluff at the bottom. And then you are chilling like a villain with your vintage Bomber. Then moving on, this is my first time finding this designer brand. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. It is called Helmet Lang. Now a few other YouTubers and thrifters have found this brand before, but I have never come across it till today. And honestly, I think I found such an amazing piece. They usually find a t-shirt or a dress shirt. I found some jogger sweatpants. And what's really sick about this is that on the left side, it has Helmet Lang embossed. It's very subtle. I don't know if the camera, yeah, the camera can pick it up. All embossed down the leg, helmet laying on each side, the right and the left. I don't know why I said just the left, but super nice. I low key probably wish they would have done this maybe in white. I understand that it is like subtle flex with the designer. Now, if I had to guess, these probably had to retail probably around 300 plus, uh, maybe about 350 or so. The materials that's made out of it is polyester, spandex, and rayon. Now rayon is super soft, so this material honestly feels so amazing. Now what's weird and what's different about this is 
you might think like, look how, let me zoom out and show you guys how short these are. And you're like, Amelia, what's the deal with these? Well, this is actually a size small. I tried it on, it fits a size 32 waist. So keep in mind, these do run big, size 32 waist. I will put it in the link down below, so don't worry. These do cut off right about mid calf. I will try them on just to show you guys how they fit. Don't buy these thinking that they're gonna go all the way down to your ankles. It's some kind of different fit I've never really seen before. Well, I have seen before like guys wearing, I don't even know how they're, are they capris? Or I don't even know what they're called, but like the high water pants that like they cut mid ankle, mid calf, whatever it is. So this is the style jogger that it is. They will not go down to your ankles. Just keep that in mind. Um, again, same thing with the Robin jeans. I did buy these for personal, not in the tent of selling it. Um, but I figured, you know, everything is for sale. If someone wants it more than me, then it is what it is. That's the beauty of finding used stuff and having an online vintage store. I can literally wear stuff a few times, wash it, then sell it to you guys. I love it and it just keeps my closet rotating all day. So again, size small, but fits like a 32. Uh, you can already see like that doesn't obviously look like a small at all. And let me put them on real fast so you can see how high it really is. So obviously, I'm rocking my Birkenstocks. I'm not gonna show you guys my feet, that's just weird. But here you guys can see the helmet laying going down and it does cut off about mid ankle or so. So that's how it fits. It will not go all the way down. It's like that European style. Just so you guys know, let's get it. All right, so last but not least, the grail or the find of today is a Tommy Hilfiger jacket and no, it is not that fleece. By the way, shout out to this. I actually wore that last night to the Fear of God Vans camp out. You can't wait here. It's private property. The security doesn't want you guys waiting here for whatever it is you guys are waiting here for. So you guys have to go away. You can line back up at 7 a.m. Okay? Thank you. Honestly, I don't even want to talk about that. It was a horrible disaster. I'm not going to be posting a vlog about it. I did not get the pairs. I don't want to talk about it. Let's just move on. We got the vintage Tommy Hilfiger size large parka. I, I guess it's like a parka slash jacket. It's definitely like heavier than a regular jacket. We have Velcro on the front as well as a zipper. The left tit, you do have embroidered Tommy jeans with a little flag right there. You have a pinstripe navy going down the sleeves on each side. Then, super fire on the back in big letters, all embroidered, you have Tommy Jeans 85. Now, this jacket is a heavy jacket. It has like a fleece inner lining. And I just realized it's a size XL, but we're gonna quickly throw it on to see how it really fits. This jacket's so fire. Honestly, I think I'm gonna keep this bomber. Like, I've been looking at me like in the side mirror, like obviously I talk to you guys, but I've been looking right there and y'all, fire. All right, let me try on this Tommy Jeans parka jacket, however you want it. Oh, it fits like a large, I hope it's not a women's. All right, so this does not fit like an XL at all. This actually fits like a medium. So shout out to the small people. Um, this, like the chest fits like a large, but the sleeves fit like a medium. Like it's kind of too short on me. As you can see, I'm uh, usually a large, so the sleeves are short. So the sizing is a little off, but honestly, you can't go wrong with this vintage Tommy jeans. This thing is so nice, so fire. Size medium with the little blue accents. Cop it while you can. Link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, smash the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, guys. You guys are killing it. I gave you guys a goal of 25,000 subs before my birthday, which is November 26th. I believe it's next Sunday or the Sunday after. Honestly, it's coming up so fast, I can't even imagine. I can't even believe it. But I think before this video goes, or we might even hit it already, we hit 25K. Last time I checked, we're at like 24,900 and something. So huge congrats to you guys. We're at 25,000. That's a fourth of 100,000. I can't wait till we get to 100,000. 200,000, 300,000, eventually up to 1 million plus subscribers. This is just the beginning. This is just the start of my YouTube career. So you guys are definitely the day one. Shout out to you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget guys, let's get it. Study and I don't know where it came from. Study and I don't know where the name from. Newest in the 30 in this hangar. It's such a million's ain't gonna change when